After over two months hard battle against the novel coronavirus, China is gradually bringing the epidemic under control. From a peak of 3,910 confirmed cases a day, the epicenter Wuhan reported 126 cases on March the 5th. Nationally, the number of diagnosed patients is in single digits. However, the virus has dealt a blow to the Chinese economy, with factory output and the service sector hit especially hard, and shock waves felt around the world. What has China done to contain this fatal disease, and how has it progressed in rebounding its economy? This is Xinhua Special. On January 23rd, in an unprecedented move, Wuhan was locked down to stop the virus from further spreading to other parts of the country. Other travel restrictions were also imposed nationwide. In Wuhan, two makeshift hospitals were built in two weeks, and large facilities like sports halls were converted into failed hospitals, offering over 30,000 extra beds. The city has also welcomed more than 40,000 medics and millions of tons of supplies from across the country. China has taken one of the most ancient strategies for infectious disease control and rolled out probably the most Ambitious and I would say agile and aggressive、uh, disease containment effort in history. Ah, because of our own, this country's strong feeling, ah, and the collective consciousness of this nation, is our own strategy. With mechanisms in place to control the spread of the virus and treat those infected, China is also trying to rebuild its economy by getting people and places. Back to work. For a country the size of China, there could be no one-size-fits-all approach. So each region has been encouraged to roll out their measures to help businesses resume work. In the tech hub of Shenzhen, the renowned electronics market area of Huaqiangbei has begun to gradually reopen. Around 100 tents have been erected outside for traders. While、well, indoor activity has been limited, in East China's Zhejiang Province, over 1.4 million migrant workers from the country are employed at Yi Wu, often called the global supermarket. It is also a key outpost for over 15,000 foreign businessmen and women. Yiwu International Trade Market, the world's leading small commodities market, reopened on February 18th. After delaying for nearly two weeks, 整个市场我们都做了很严格的消杀，特别是一些关键的这个位置区域。那么大家可以看到啊，现在进场的这个过程当中呢，我们都要严格的进行测温，同时呢，也要通拿出它的这个原先生成的二维码以及这个身份证进行入场。In Zhejiang and Fujian provinces, concerned over the potential transmission of the virus during long journeys, the government's organized chartered flights at a cost of 70,000 U.S. dollars for each leg to transport employees to their working cities. Small and medium enterprises in Hubei have had their loan rates cut by one percentage point. Thanks to just one of the 600 policies rolled out across the country to support small businesses, the state taxation administration focused its support on transportation, catering, hotels, and tourism, four industries hit hardest by virus restrictions. Besides targeted tax cuts, enterprises reporting substantial losses can apply for tax relief paid off in installments over eight years. By no means an exhaustive list, the Chinese Ministry of Commerce has also pledged to help foreign-invested enterprises, especially those deemed to be industry leaders. Take Guangdong, for example. Local authorities have offered to provide 40 multinational corporations and related chambers of commerce, like Walmart, LG, Cargo, Tory, with logistical assistance, labor, raw materials, and prevention and control materials.
In Shanghai, also with the support from local authorities, 99% of the 840 major foreign invested companies located there have resumed work as of February 25th. Also resuming production capacity is Apple's main iPhone maker, Foxconn. With help from the local authorities, Foxconn's Zhengzhou production base, which had only 1,800 employees left behind during the Spring Festival at the end of January, now has around 80,000 people on post, approaching the employment level in the same period in previous years. The calorific value observation data from remote sensing satellites show some insight into the increased activity on the ground. These two satellite images captured on January 21st and February 22nd show the Tesla Shanghai Giga Factory, which reopened on February the 10th. The red dots on the images indicate high-density production and human activity. These graphics illustrate the province and city-level work resumption rate of the Chinese mainland. The darker the color, the higher the resumption rate. The red areas indicate that the resumption rate of local enterprises has reached at least 80 percent. When talking about the impact of the disease on China's economic and social development, President Xi Jinping had said that it would be temporary and generally manageable. With China's ongoing, diligent and aggressive measures, and the collective commitment and will of the Chinese people, it won't be long before the country gets back on track and emerges stronger from this epidemic. See you next time.